Hello everybody, my name is Crew, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial on how to build this awesome little potion machine. Now the cool thing about this potion machine is the redstone behind it is absolutely tiny. It's super simple to build. You guys will have no troubles building this thing in your survival world. It's also really easy to operate. I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial on it. Anywho, let me go ahead and get started by showing you guys how to operate this machine and um, basically how it works. So starting off over here, we have a little water block and this is used to fill up your water bottles and you're going to want to store these water bottles in a chest. This chest just feeds right into your brewing stand right here. Now over here, we have the wall of ingredients and this is where you can go ahead and select the different ingredients that you're going to use to um, brew up your potions. Now the way the selecting goes is you can select one little ingredient from each grouping so you can select this guy you can select one from this little row right here you can select this guy you can select one of these two and um, yeah that's how the selecting goes now down at the bottom this is how um, the levers this is how you choose if you want an ingredient or not um, when you flip it up that means it's on so it is going to add the nether wart it's gonna add this ingredient or you can flip it down it's off it's not going to add this ingredient and up at the top there are signs um, that go ahead and tell you what each of the different ingredients do so let's go ahead and get started by brewing us a potion so um, this nether wart right here this is for all potions except weakness so unless you're building weakness you're gonna want to flip this for all potions so we will go ahead turn this guy on now moving over here this is you know your base for each potion so this guy um, each of these little ingredients they have two effects um, up at the top you can see their positive effect and then they have a negative effect so for example this rabbit foot right here its positive effect is leaping and its negative effect is slowness so say we want one of those two effects we'll go ahead flip this guy up and we can only select one from this group so we'll move on um, next guy this is for negative effects or weakness now by default all all of these little ingredients here they all are positive effects by default so if we push the button right now and make ourselves a potion we're gonna get leaping but if we come over here this guy changes it to negative effects so we'll go ahead select that now we're gonna get ourselves a slowness potion which is pretty cool um, but we can go ahead you know if we want leaping or if we want slowness so we'll go with slowness now over here these are our last two modifiers we can either choose to make the potion stronger or longer now keep in mind some potions can only be made longer they can't be made stronger and as it turns out you can only make slowness potions longer you cannot actually make them stronger there's no such thing as slowness too so we're gonna be going with the longer option and um, that's just something to keep in mind as you guys are crafting up your potions that goes for invisibility and a few other potions as well that you can only make actually longer and not stronger so we're gonna be going with a longer potion of slowness and the last option that we have down here is a hint of gunpowder and this will turn your potion into a splash potion and we'll go ahead turn this guy on so we can splash our enemies with a hint of slowness now we'll head over to the beginning here do make sure that you guys have water bottles and your brewing stand is ready to go and all you got to do is push for potion and what that's going to do is it will send one of every ingredient right into this hopper right here and um, they'll start brewing into this brewing stand so the cool thing about this automatic brewing stand is it's completely automatic so once you push that button you know all the items get sent directly to it and um, all you got to do is wait for them to you know be inserted into the water bottles and then you're good to go do make sure though that you don't push that button again until they're completely done brewing and you do have to manually take out the potions um, and then it'll just fill in water bottles you can go ahead push the button again um, but don't push the button more than once or else it's going to mess up the order that the ingredients actually go into the brewing stand Okie dokie, so the brewing has finished and we got ourselves some nice splash potions of slowness um, that last for three minutes, so they are extended. We will take these guys out, they'll fill in some more water bottles, and um, the cool thing about this is, you know, we can just start brewing up another one just like that. So let's go for night vision, we want positive effects, and we are going to want to make it last longer, not a splash potion. We'll run back over to the start, push the button, and we'll start brewing up three night vision potions. So it's that easy to use use and um, pretty simple to build as well and this is all of the redstone behind this machine all it is is one line of redstone leading to some repeaters and some torches then we got a block a bunch of droppers and a line of hoppers going right into your brewing stand that is literally 
all the machine is. I'm sure a bunch of you guys could pretty much build this machine, you know, from what you see right here. It's just torches, blocks, and droppers. Okie dokie. So starting off, the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is make sure you find yourself a nice long wall where you can fit all of your different ingredients on. So I'm going to go ahead, list off the different ingredients that you guys need to put on this wall as um, then you guys can go ahead, pause the video and write exactly what the signs say on top of them. So the first thing we have here are the nether warts, then you're going to want to skip a space and then we're going to have a golden carrot right there, that's for night vision, invisibility, rabbit foot is for leaping or slowness, uh, magma cream, fire resistance or slowness, sugar, swiftness or slowness, and then we got ourselves a puffer fish for water breathing or harming, glycerine melon for healing or harming, um, poisonous spider eye for poison or harming, um, regeneration or none and that is the gas tier, then we have ourselves some blaze powder and that is for strength or for none. Then you're going to want to go ahead skip a space and then we have ourselves a fermented spider eye and this is for the negative effects or weakness. Skip one more space, then we have our two modifiers, a redstone for longer or, um, or glowstone for stronger. Skip a one final space and then you have a, yourself a nice gunpowder and so that is for splash potions. The next step that you guys are going to need to do is go ahead and um, with each ingredient, skip one space, and then you're going to want to put yourself your levers. And this is going to go on the bottom of each ingredient, just like so. And then go ahead and break the middle block between each ingredient, um, just like this. Now these little spaces in between each of them, you can go ahead and just leave blank. So come around the back here, and you're going to want to place yourself some droppers facing in this direction and make sure they are droppers they cannot be dispensers that would not work very well so just go ahead place yourself a bunch of droppers and you should be good to go okie dokie so coming over to the front now you're gonna want to come over to this side of the machine and this is where our brewing stand is gonna go so go ahead break that block and place yourself a brewing stand then break the block on top and shift click a hopper going into the top of the brewing stand just like that then come around the side and we're going to shift click another hopper going into the side of this brewing stand then up here we're going to place ourselves a chest and then break this block and this is where we're going to grab ourselves a water bottle so we're gonna wanna you know sort of hammer in this water bottle so it doesn't escape just like that and then we're gonna place a sign right here and this is going to be push for potions and this is going to be for whoopsies there we go this is going to be for the button that's gonna go right here and this is gonna be the button that you actually push to get yourself a potion now currently at the moment you can't actually open the chest so go ahead grab yourself a stair or a half slab so that way we can place it up here and this way we can actually open the chest and this is where you're gonna grab yourself water bottles oopsies okay you're gonna grab yourself water bottles and uh, make sure you fill up this chest and you should see that they do go inside of the brewing stand alrighty so now we're gonna come along to the bottom of the machine and what you're gonna want to do is under each ingredient you're gonna want to come down one two blocks go ahead break this block and place a torch and you should see um, that the droppers do in fact make a little clicking noise so go ahead and do this you're gonna want to place one of these underneath each little dropper and um, you should hear the the little clicking noise for each of these guys so we're gonna come down here we're gonna do it for these two guys and this final one hear a little whoopsies hear a little clicking noise just like so and um, now you're gonna want to come down here so build yourself a nice big area obviously you won't have to be doing this if you aren't living in you know a giant void world um, you should have the ground of some sorts, but um, for me, I'm gonna have to build this little platform Now you're gonna want to put a one tick repeater going into each of these blocks Just like so and then on this last guy a little bit of redstone dust place a block And then we're just gonna do a giant line of redstone now I forgot about this part right here break this repeater place it there two dots of redstone Just like that and you should be good to go if you go ahead and give it a test place a torch right there you should see that all of the torches up here turn off and this guy will turn off um, to once we put a repeater so put a repeater going into this guy now we will see that all of the torches do indeed turn off and we're going to want to drag this guy up into the button so the buttons on the back of this block so we will drag you up and down just like so so build a little bit of a staircase coming down and all you got to do is we will connect this guy up into the repeater so the repeaters right there we'll go ahead drag you up 
and a nice line of redstone. You guys can literally not mess this thing up. It's just one line of redstone going into the torches. This is so simple, it is crazy. And now once we push this button, um, you'll see that all the droppers go ahead and tick. So that is pretty much the redstone portion. There is one final redstone-like thing that you have to do, and that is build yourself a line of hoppers going into this guy. So shift click into this one, and you should see that the hopper, you know, faces this hopper up there. And now we're just going to build a line of hoppers um, going all the way down this machine. And this is what the droppers are going to spit their items into. So if we go ahead and, you know, toss a block of quartz into the last hopper um, and we come along to the front here, we should see the block of quartz come out um, through here any second now. There we go, block of quartz, good to go. Okie dokie, so I went ahead and built myself a little bit of a floor to stand on. Now do keep in mind that these levers down at the bottom, um, the top means on or that you have selected that ingredient to be used, and the top means off or that that ingredient is not selected. So at the moment, all of these ingredients are selected, so we're gonna have to go ahead and turn them all off. And then we should be ready to start brewing a potion. now. If you're wondering where you store the ingredients to brew your potions, well, the answer is the droppers right here. So what you're going to want to do is, you know, take each item. So we're going to take nether warts right here and you're just going to want to fill up your dropper with that item and do the same thing for all of these ingredients. So golden carrots, you know, fill them up right here and this is why I love this system so much a lot of the um, a lot of the different potion brewing stations out there you can't check your supplies like you have no idea if you're running low on something um, this way it's literally right in front of you all you got to do is look inside of the dropper and you can easily you know put a hopper in some chest to even have more storage if you guys really want to but we'll just you know fill up with sugar and everything and um, who knows we can already start making a fire resistant potion um, so let's go ahead and push for potions and you should see that you know we only have one water bottle in here but we have ourselves nether wart and also some magma cream so I do hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and that you have learned something and built this cool little machine it wasn't too hard was it it was very simple redstone and uh, that's why I frankly love this thing so much because it, it's so easy to build you can literally build it just like that and um, you got yourself a nice little um, potion brewing machine. So anyway, my name is Crew. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Adios. Crew, and today I have remade my amazing lottery machine in Minecraft. I've managed to compact the redstone down quite a bit, making it a little bit more survival friendly and easier to build. I've also improved the jackpot display lights that you guys can see on the back of the lottery machine. Now the reason this lottery machine is so epic because it can automatically reset